Hello guys, it's me there and, and welcome to my channel. This is actually my first time to do a voiceover in my video, so please bear with me. And I hope you like this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. The first thing I'm gonna be using is this Gossip Secrets foundation base. And I'll just put it all over my face just like this. And I will just blend it with my bare hands to get a nice and even skin tone. The next step is I will use this Gossip Cream Blush with the shade of orange. Actually, I will use this as a corrector since I don't have and I'll just put it all over my beard marks, mustache, and my dark circle just to correct all the color before I put the foundation. The next step is I will use this Gossip Foundation which is I bought from the sale hall which I created in the last video and I'll just put it in my face. Actually, I did not expect that this foundation is a little bit sticky, so I'm having a hard time to spread it all over my face. And just blend it with your clean and nice sponge. So you can blend it well, just like this. I'm gonna be using is this gossip highlighter with the shade of number one which is the lightest actually I enjoy using this because it's just like a pen you just have to click it and uh, the fluid will come out and I'll just put it in my nose nose bridge under my eye which is the area you need to highlight And just dab it with a sponge so you can get a nice blend. The next thing I will be using is this Rimmel London foundation in dark shade. And as you can see in the video, I'll just have to put this and where I want to contour my face just to get a more defined features and in the same sponge just tap it to blend and avoid the areas which you highlighted first And after contouring my face, I will be using this translucent powder which is I bought in a Japanese store and I'll just put it in under my eye, my nose, where I want to bake my foundation. So while our face is baking, let's now proceed to the eyebrow, which is I will be using this black brown eyeliner and I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows. And use a flat brush to blend it to get a nice eyebrows on flick. So for the last step, just use a concealer to get a nice and clean look. And don't forget to blend it out. The 
there you have it eyebrow sound flake next step is I'll just remove this excess powder because the baking is done so now we can proceed to eyeshadow the first thing I'm gonna be using is this H&M eyeshadow compact with the shade of woodwork and I'll use the small blending brush and apply it in my crease line just to get a nice transition color the next eyeshadow I'll be using is from Estee Lauder eyeshadow palette and I'll be using the chocolate chip shade and apply it also to my crease line just to get a more dimension And the next eyeshadow I will be using is from Essence Eye and Face Palette and I will use the shade Charcoal and apply this to my whole eyelid just like this and blend it nice and I will be using also the other shade which is the lighter one and I will put it in the middle of my eyelid to create a halo eyeshadow effect I am also using the other shades or the different shades and I think because this will give also a more dimensions and again use another clean brush to remove the harsh lines the next eyeshadow I will be using also is from Estee Lauder and I will use the shade Vanilla and apply it to my brow bone For my lower eyes, I will use a small prancing brush and the same eyeshadow from H&M the shade Woodwork and also the chocolate chip from Estee Lauder palette I will use also another clean brush and apply a little bit of translucent powder just to get a more nice blend. The next thing I will be using is this face tattoo eyeliner pen and I will apply this in my upper lid part just to give more intense eyes look. I will apply also a black eyeliner inside my lid trust me it looks painful but it's normal for me and also to my lower line just to give more intense look and the next thing I will be using is this Gossip Volumizer Mascara and I will be using this to my upper lash and to my lower lash line I will be using this horse hair fashion eyelashes which is I bought from online and it looks so beautiful just like this and I will be using also this cute eyelash glue which is I bought from Daiso after applying eyelash glue just give it a little some time to dry up and get sticky and apply it as close as possible to your real eyelashes to get more natural look just like this and for my bottom lash I will use also these eyelashes and put some glue and stick it like that as close as possible to your real lashes For the last step, I will apply some 
shimmers in my teardrop area and this will help us to pop up our eyes more and there you have it you have now your full eyeshadow actually I forget to put the hairnet at the first place which is how you dumb but now I'll put it now I'm so stupid and for the last contour I will be using this eyeshadow palette from Beauty Treats and I mix those two shades and I will apply it where I put my contour at the first place just to give more dimensions let's just blend it nicely and I will retouch my face with this Rimmel London face powder and apply it to my lower eyes, to my chin and to my cheeks also and to enhance my nose I will be using the same eyeshadow from Beauty Treats and just apply it to my nose to create a nice blend nose line Next step is Blush On which is my favorite and I will be using this Kate of London palette and the bronze shades and just apply it to my cheekbone close to my contour. And for the next step which is I think everyone's favorite is the highlighting and I will apply this to my nose, nose bridge and to the highest point of my cheekbone sorry excuse for my boyfriend he's trying to get some attention and to my cupid's bow and a little bit in the chin <laughs> and the last step before we finish our tutorial i'll be using this lip liner and i actually did overline my lips here because i want to get a more fuller lips and just wipe it up with your favorite matte lipstick and I hope you guys, I did not make you feel so sleepy with my tutorial. And there you go. This is the final look. <laughs>